We ready? On today's date, at around 1336 hours, the Delano Police Department responded to a call of a bank robbery at the Bank of America on Springstown Center. Uh, while officers responded to that, to that call, they received some additional information about a vehicle which was associated with the suspect who, which was fleeing the area. Officers en route to the call were able to uh, locate this vehicle, attempted to stop this vehicle. Uh, we were, were led on a uh, vehicle pursuit that roughly three or four miles, which terminated in the 100 block of Janus Avenue. The, uh, the pursuit was terminated because uh, our officer uh, employed a pit maneuver which spun the vehicle out uh, and he then pursued the, the suspect on foot into a residential neighborhood. Shortly after exiting his vehicle and uh, chasing the suspect, officers who were arriving just moments later uh, heard uh, several shots fired. They discovered uh, our officer down in the backyard uh, and he was mortally wounded. He was transported at that time to a local hospital and uh, emergency medical doctors and technicians and uh, nurses worked on him for about an hour uh, with emergency medical procedures uh, which were ultimately uh, failed. Uh, the officer uh, next to Ken has been notified. He has, uh, is identified as Officer James Kapu. Uh, of the Vallejo Police Department. He has been with us for over uh, 19 years, also uh, with the California Highway Patrol for a couple of years before that, and also a former United States uh, Marine Corps uh, service as well. Right now, uh, we have numerous investigators that are uh, at the police department. They have just finished a briefing. They are, we are in the process of continuing our investigation. We have one suspect in custody. Uh, we are in the process of uh, ferreting out and uh, determining exactly what happened uh, during today's event. That's all the information I have at this time. Yes. Is there a second suspect that you're searching for? We have not eliminated that as a probability or a possibility, I should say. Second suspect, what scene? We have not eliminated that uh, as a possibility at this point. During the pursuit, uh, is it Officer Caput? I'm sorry, Officer Sergeant, what's his title? It's Officer Caput, okay. C-A-P-O-O-T. Was he the only one in that pursuit? There were other officers. He was the one that was closest to the suspect vehicle. There were other officers attempting to catch up to the pursuit at the time. He was the only one that was caught. That's correct. What can you tell us about the officer? What kind of a man was he? What did he need to his buddies here in the He's a highly decorated officer. He's received two Medals of Courage during the time he's been with us. Uh, if that isn't the handout that I've given you. Medal of uh, Merit for his work with uh, the Traffic Safety Patrol. He is a high school ba women's basketball coach. He coaches uh, basketball in Vacaville in some type of league as well. Uh, he's very involved in the community here and also uh, in the commu in Vacaville community as well. Married children? He's married with three daughters. Talk about the two that recently adopted. Uh, I don't believe that happened, but that uh, he recently uh, he was friends with a couple who were tragically killed in a motorcycle accident, I believe, last year. They left behind two children. Uh, they were very close friends with this couple, and for a, a short period of time, uh, these children were living with him. He had done some additions to his house to accommodate them. I don't know what the status of it of that is right now. I believe the children are living with their grandparents. And can you comment? Uh, we won't come on at that. Come on, comment on that at this time. Can you tell us how many officers were actually out in the field? Were, were you guys short on officers today? Uh, we had our standard contingent of officers. I believe uh, there were six uh, patrol officers on day watch. Uh, all six were in the field. Uh, swing shift was coming on, and I believe they had an additional six or eight officers. Uh, we did receive uh, numerous officers from surrounding agencies responded to our call for help. Uh, Vacaville, Fairfield, Benicia, Solano Sheriff's Office, uh, CHP, uh, among others. And so we had a lot of officers to help us uh, in the subsequent search and the uh, capturing of evidence and maintaining the crime scene. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Everyone's aware of the cutbacks in Vallejo and other municipalities. Does six officers, in your mind, seem sufficient for a city this size, this big, in a, in a case like this? Yeah, we're not. I, I'm just not going to make a comment about this this time. Is the suspect in custody believed to be the shooter? I'm, we're not going to comment at this time. Well, can, you, can you tell us how he was shot? Like, what happened? All I can tell you is that uh, two or three shots were heard by the officers. The officers, uh, the officer did not discharge his weapon. And uh, one suspect is, is still alive. That's a possibility. We have not ruled that out. Can you tell us a little bit more about the suspect you do have in custody, age? Not at this time, no. We're, this is an ongoing investigation. Uh, we've just gotten to the point now where we've made assignments to all the investigative teams. Uh, and so there's lots of interviews to be conducted, and I don't want to jeopardize that. Were other officers close enough to witness this uh, officer getting shot? There were no officers who actually witnessed it. They were just a short distance away when it occurred. They heard the shots. They saw Officer Kapoor giving chase to the suspect as he fled the vehicle on foot, but did not actually see him being shot by the suspect. Was the officer wearing a, a vest? The officer was wearing body armor. Yes. Um, is there an active search going on for a possible second suspect? We, redu we have scaled back that search. We have not ruled out that there may be another suspect involved. Are there any street closures at this point? I believe Janice Street is still closed. Uh, it's a crime scene. Uh, it'll be a while before we process that scene. Uh, the area around the residence in which the shooting occurred as well is also closed. Was the weapon been recovered that uh, fired the shots that uh, paid the shots? Yeah, I'm not going to comment on that right now. Uh, you, you stated, sir, that uh, you have not ruled out that another suspect may be involved. What, what exactly does that mean? Well, we have some we have information coming in right now from various sources. So we don't want to rule out that possibility officially at this point. Uh, we do have a suspect in custody, but we're not at this point going to say that we're not looking for someone else. So, what is your advice to people in that neighborhood, or are you making any recommendations to them through the night? Well, I think that the recommendation is the same as always. Just keep your keep your doors locked. If you hear anything unusual uh, that, that's out of the ordinary, please call us. But I mean, is it still active? Like, before you guys are going door to door, are you guys still doing that? That part of the kind of the intense search has concluded at this point. So, Officer Kapoor was the only one in pursuit of the suspects. Where was his closest backup? Uh, well, there was two, at least two other officers that showed up just moments after he, uh, the traffic collision and the foot pursuit. They were there less than a minute, seconds. Is the T silent at the end of his name? I'm sorry? Is the T silent at the end of officer? It is. It's Kapu. The T is silent. Is it possible that the suspect you have in custody is the one who shot Officer Kapu? Yeah, we're not going to comment on that right now. We do have a suspect in custody. We're not prepared to comment on, on exactly what his involvement is in the crime. Did you know the officer yourself and on a personal level talk to us? Yes. Yeah, we're a small police department. Uh, Officers don't come and leave here over the years. I've worked with him for all 19 years that he was with us. And he's, he's a guy that's you know loved by everybody. He's a guy that was a trainer in almost all aspects of uh, police work, driving, shooting, uh, tactical communications, arrest and control. Uh, he's, he was a motor officer with us, a SWAT member. Uh, we're, a, we're a small police department now, and we're, and we're a tight family. So there's nobody at the police department that isn't deeply affected by this. Can you give any information about the bank robbery that led up to this? Uh, no, we don't. Just the, just the fact that we were notified of it. We, uh, we went through our standard procedures in confirming whether or not the, uh, the alarm was genuine or not. Uh, officers were given updated information as they responded to the bank robbery. Were they wearing Halloween masks? I'm not prepared to comment on that. How many people in the Lake Police Department on the officers? Uh, I believe our current staffing level is 93, I believe. Were they caught in the act? Had they robbed the bank? Or uh, the, uh, sus the officers did not pick up the suspect vehicle until it was a short distance away. Can you describe that vehicle? Well, it's a, I believe it's a silver SUV. It was out on the scene. I think you folks probably have pictures of it. Sure that Right, pictures, right? Yeah, yeah so the one that you, it's been photographed is, is the proper. I believe it's a silver SUV, a Tahoe or Suburban or something like that. Did Officer Kapu have another officer in the car with him when they were pursuing the suspect? No, he did not. He was a solo officer. Are all Vallejo officers solo now? 
Uh, no. Uh, during uh, heightened periods of criminal activity, when we take a lot of calls for service, we, we at night time we, we typically have two officers in a car at a time. During the day, it's all solo? During the day, typically it's all solo. There's no hard and fast rules. Where was the officer uh, when he was shot? Was he in somebody's yard? Or? I believe he was in the backyard of a residence in the 100 block of Janus. The suspects you have in custody, do they have a criminal history? Uh, I cannot comment on that right now. What's the status of that uh, SUV? Is it a stolen vehicle or was it registered to its ramps? Well, we're in possession of it. I do, don't have that information at this point. Possibly three suspects total. Uh, we, I, I can't comment on that. I'm not. We may, there, there still be, may be other suspects involved in the original robbery and or chase uh, that were just uh, not aware of at this point. The investigation's ongoing. We uh, we may determine at a later point there's another suspect and someone we're looking for. At that point, we will be prepared to bring that uh, person's name forward. How many suspects were seen at the bank? I don't have the answer to that. Wait, I'm sorry. Did you say you're not going to release the suspect's name yet? The suspect's name? No, we're not going to release it as of yet. Was he charged with, or can you talk about that? Has he been charged? Arrested or whatever. He was arrested. He, has, he was arrested uh, at, near or at the scene of the crime. Or I should say, not the scene of the bank robbery, but the scene on Janice. Are you releasing an age with the suspect? Uh, I don't have that right now. I understand this uh, bank robbery had been targeted a number of times by bank robbers. Can you confirm that? It's been robbed several times, yes. I don't know the time frame or period, but yes, it's been robbed several times. Would you give us your full name again? So. Jeff Bassett, B-A-S-S-E-T-T. -S -S -E and I am the press information officer for the Valhalla Police Department. And you are Sergeant? Sergeant. Is Jeff J-E-F-F? That's correct. Thank you. 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 We also want to take it this time which is, is, is just a, a brief moment to thank. We've had already uh, a numerous amount of phone calls and well wishes and flowers and you name it delivered to the police department. We want to thank the members of the community have, who have shown us their support members of council, members uh, uh, of the city government have, uh, have come forward and, uh, and have uh, given their support and their condolences to us at this time. We want to thank them. And that's all I have for right now. Thank you. Thank you.